Hi everyone. I am Avanti Gulane, currently a cardiovascular imaging fellow at the University of Pennsylvania, and I am going to discuss cardiac magnetic resonance on IndianRadiologist.com. Cardiac MR is a well-established modality for evaluating congenital and acquired cardiac diseases. Familiarity with the basic pulse sequences, imaging planes, and anatomy pertaining to the cardiac MRI is essential to formulate optimal protocols and interpretations. Hence, in this very first video, I would discuss a very basic topic that is the standard cardiac imaging planes. The two main coordinate systems used for cardiac MRI include the body or the scanner planes and the cardiac planes. Body planes are oriented orthogonal to the long axis of the body and consist of axial, sagittal and coronal planes. These planes are used to derive the scout images and provide a qualitative overview of the cardiac morphology. However, the obliquity of these planes to the walls of the heart precludes accurate anatomic and functional characterization. Rather, such information should be obtained from the specialized cardiac planes. The standard cardiac planes are established using the scout images and includes the short axis, horizontal long axis or the four chamber view and the vertical long axis or the two chamber view. First, we derive the two chamber or the vertical long axis view. This plane is prescribed along a line extending from the cardiac apex to the center of the mitral valve using the axial body plane images. Then we derive the short axis view this is perpendicular to the vertical long axis view, which is acquired as a stack from base to apex. Then we derive the four chamber view or the horizontal long axis view of the heart. This is the true horizontal long axis view. For this, the plane is parallel to the two chamber view and passes through the center of the mitral valve and the ventricular apex. And the second plane is set in the short axis image cutting across the base of the ventricles care has to be taken that the plane passes along the right ventricular apex also we have to ensure that the plane does not pass through the root of the aorta for this we need to scroll the short axis stack and make sure that the plane is not cutting through the aortic root in the basal slices. Another commonly used view is the three chamber view of the heart which is derived through the two chamber and the short axis view. Again in the two chamber view the plane passes through the center of the mitral valve and the left ventricular apex. In the short axis view the plane passes along the root of the aorta. The three chamber view is a very important view because it demonstrates systolic anterior motion of the mitral leaflet which is a pathognomic sign of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Now once you have acquired all the cardiac imaging planes, the standard imaging planes in all the phases of the heart, say 20 or 30 phases of the heart which includes the end diastolic and the end systolic phases, you can run it as a cine loop and what you can see is the actual beating heart. Now when you're looking at this slide, I'm sure you have noticed some pathology on the four chamber and the three chamber views. Do think about it and I would reveal the answers in my next video. Thank you.